Hi guys. Every year Richard King, the uh, hand scraping guru, comes down here to my shop. I think he just wants an excuse to get out of the cold weather up north. He comes down here to South Texas and we host a scraping class. This will be number six, six years now, uh, that he's been coming and the class seems to be growing. This year he's got 12 students and I need more space for everybody to work. So, as I'm getting the shop ready for the new class, I went and bought something today. Everybody needs one of these. Can you see that? That, here, let me get you down off the stands and we'll go take a close up look. That is one heavy table. Found this on Craigslist the other day. Picked it up for $425. It looks like it's in pretty decent shape. When I arrived, there was four guys in the scrapyard giving a, a Rust-Oleum uh, makeover and a rebuild to a lot of different things in their yard. And I suspect this one's had one also. It's an inch and a quarter thick top. It looks pretty flat. I thought that if it's really bad, I can always take it and cut it down to 32 inches and uh, give it a ride on my planer. And we plane it all off and make a new base for it. Frankly, I couldn't buy the top plates that I was going to use for a, a new welding table for what I paid for this. And it gives enough space for four people to work during the upcoming class. So, everybody will have enough room. Let me get this sucker in place. Put you back up here in the stands. And move you out of harm's way. I'm just going to put it up here in the front of the shop. I've got a lot of work to do to get this place ready. It's easy. Everyone should have a tractor with forklifts on it. Looks like they put on two uh, tabs or shelves or whatever for uh, some nice vice. Although I think that's kind of high up. Let me cut that off and lower it down. I'm going to put some wheels on it. One little boo-boo. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Going to check this out and uh, get it ready for the class. 
See you later.